Hi quilter, let's quilt this whole cloth. So we have this quilt and someone really, really loved the quilting and said, can you do a whole cloth for me? But then the person asked um, wings, so we're, ha we're going to make some minor you know, modifications here and we have just draw these wings over the backing of, you know, a photo of the backing of that quilt. And the person said, yes, that's what I want. So we were going to mark that, trace that directly on, on the fabric. But then this is just half of the quilt. This will be mirrored here. And we said, oh dear, that would be much easier if we have a paper. Because then we can, you know, make our wings just the same. And we had to send the client a lot of options for her to choose between wings style. So it was already drawn by our hand. Yeah, exactly. So this wing is ours and here we only have these grids to place the quilting and here we have Xavier. Yes, exactly. Oh my god. So I'm checking the, you know, important guidelines here and using the grid to mark them but I'm, I'm not going to mark all the grid or anything like that just what i need almost always just these external lines so i can have the placement the right placement for each part of this whole cloth Another quilt. Today we are making this whole cloth quilt. I have it rolled here. I know at this point that you already saw Natasha doing all this marking, but I want to show you this. This is the quilt that this whole cloth, is, this movable cloth, is based upon. This is a patchwork quilt that we did um, and when the person saw this, she wanted it with wings and we've marked it and now I have this quilt for reference for the little, you know, the little spaces that I have to fill in and let's see how this goes. Since almost everything here is white on white, I don't think you'll be able to see much. Um, but I'm, I'm starting the quilting and I am going to start in this line.
Now I'm gonna show you guys something just for fun. You know, I had this symbol here <laughs> to remind me that I, I had to do this filler. But as you can see, I, I didn't see, I, I didn't saw the symbol because I actually had to stitch right um, on top of it so I could like actually remember and understand what the symbol meant. Um, I was doing this filler here and this is the separation to change fillers so this match this one but i was like on a row i was like flowing and even with the symbol here then uh, i stitched out the parallel lines so i had to unstitch everything and since we didn't unstitch much like almost never I was pretty frustrated that I had to do it but now it's done and I'm having fun with this filler